In this Power Word video, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get the best powers in the game in regards to that work suitability traits. I don't mean level 4s either, I mean level 5s. Yes, you heard this right, level 5s in that work suitability trait, and these are above anything you can catch or even breed. So stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a couple of copies of Power World. So to win one for yourself or a friend who doesn't own it yet, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. I will pick and announce the winners in the next few days, so good luck. Okay, so yeah. After leveling up my powers, doing the usual breeding and so forth, I quickly realised, which I don't think I've seen anyone else mention, and that is, you can actually level up work suitability traits on powers, and today I will explain all. First things first though, there are 11 powers in this game, give or take, which can possibly go up to a level 5 in that work suitability, because it's only available and achievable on powers with a base of a level 4 in said work suitability traits. What this does mean though I believe, which I haven't tested yet and you'll understand why in a minute, but powers with a level 3 in a work suitability trait will be able to go up to a level 4, a level 2 go up to a level 3, a level 1 to a level 2. So how this works is as follows and I'll give you an example on my Anubis who is a base of a level 4 in that handy work. So what this takes guys is a grand total of 117 of a single power. Yes, you heard that right. You need 117 of that one single pal. The instance I'm using and showcasing to you on screen now, I had 117 of my said Anubis. So you will need 117 of that said pal you want to level up that work suitability trait on. Because you need your one, your main one, which you want to level up, and you have to sacrifice the other 116. And you do this with that power condensation machine. You insert your main and then you have to sacrifice the others. Stage 1 is only 4 powers. Stage 2 is 16 powers. Stage 3 is 32 powers. And stage 4 is 64 powers. A grand total of 116 powers need to be sacrificed in order for you to reach that stage 4. And this is when you get that upgrade to that work suitability trait. You won't get it at a stage 3 or stage 2. You get it at a stage 4 when you sacrifice the remaining 64 powers to reach that stage 4 at its power condensation machine and that is the limit. Upon you doing this, that main power you first inserted where you sacrifice it over to this guy, their work suitability trait will have leveled up. So if it was a level 1 to begin with, it will be a level 2. If it was a level 2, it will be a level 3. A level 3 will be a level 4 and a level 4 like my Anubis went up to a level 5. And there are a grand total of 10 others, not including the Anubis. So that's 11 powers within this game, which have a base of a level 4 instead work suitability trait. And today, guys, we'll name them all. So the first one is for Kindling. And here we have the German tide Ignis, who is this game's only level 4 in Kindling. This power can be found far left of the map on this little island. He won't be an easy catch, though, and you will need that heart and cold resistant armors across here, depending on day or night. Remember also, if you plan on doing this, you need a breeding pair to get the 116 others. Okay, so next up, and the only power we have in the game is the level 4 in planting, is that Lyleen. Now, Lyleen is also exclusive to one of these small islands, but this time it's the island within the top right. Same rules apply here. Bring that armor, that heat resistant and cold resistant armor, as well as your best spheres to catch these things. Also, don't forget you'll need a breeding pair if you want to reach that level 5 in planting. Next up people we have Handiwork and the only player in this game with this stat is Anubis who does appear on the map as a world boss who you can uh, go out and catch if you wanted to but it is way way easier to breed this dude and there are many many combinations to do so but the easiest in my opinion is definitely Relaxorus and Celery. These can be gotten real early on roughly around the level 18 or 19 so you're good. So go out and get these two, get mating pairs of each, breed them together and create that Anubis and keep going until you have a mating pair of Anubises and then breed these together and keep going until you have enough to reach that level 5 on your Anubis in that work suitability trait. Okay, so in regards to transporting, there are two pals you have a base of a level 4, I mean you can level these up to a level 5 and that's Wumpo and Wumpo Boltan. The location of these two can be seen on the screen now. Wumpo Boltan is found far left area at the spot we covered earlier where you find German tired Ignis and we have Wumpo is up in the snow. So do what you gotta do guys and grab these two. 
Okay, so we're going to move on to watering, and the only watering level 4 power in this game is German Tide, the standard version, who only does appear on the map as a level 45 world boss. Quite a hard catch, so I won't lie. Now, if you are a lower level and you can't catch this guy, you can always try breeding Elizabeth and Relaxorus. This guarantees you a German Tide. Breed these together until you get a mating pair of German Tides, and you can keep going until you get enough to sacrifice to get a level 5 in that watering okay so generating electricity there's only one level four power in the game and it's orzerk he can be found within the top right island we spoke about earlier again guys come up here bring that heat and cold resistant armor bring the best spheres you have because it's going to be a long night there's quite a few powers up here too which i also will add the area is small they won't all appear at once but if you do do rotations on like a flyer just fly around in circles when a pal actually goes out around the distance 99 percent of the time it will rotate to a different pal and you can do this over and over until you get the ones you are chasing Okay, so next up guys, we have Mining, and there are two powers in this game that offer a level 4 here. They are Astagon and Blazomot. Both of these powers can be found within the same location we just spoke about, the top right island guys. The same place you'll find Orzerk, the same place you'll find Lylene, and a couple of others up here. So yes, come prepared, do what you gotta do, get yourself an Astagon and a Blazomot. Breeding pairs of both, because this is where you start if you ever want to get to a level 5 in that mining works suitability trait. Next up guys, we have cooling. So the level four stat in this game is exclusive to a legendary world boss called Frost Stallion, who appears only at a level 50. She is located up north within the snow area and will be a difficult catch for sure. But do what you gotta do guys, bring that armor, bring those legendary spheres and try and grab this thing. Okay, so lastly guys, we have gathering. The level four in this stat is exclusive to one pal and that is Frostallion Nut. This is a pal exclusive to breeding, and to breed this pal, you need the parents of Frostallion, who we just covered, and how Sephir, I believe that's pronounced, who can be located right here on the map. Now breed these two together, guys, and it guarantees you a Frostallion Nut, who is, like I said, the only level four in that gathering in this game. And there we have it guys, all powers in this game which can guarantee a possible level 5 in that works suitability trait. Remember though, the same method works to upgrade any powers works suitability trait, not just level 4s. So if you have a preferred power who you like to use, who is only a level 2 or 3 in that certain rank, you can rank that higher by doing the same method. Catch or breed so you have 116 spares. And just basically combine them together, create that essence within that power compensation machine and create that monster. And there we have it, guys. This is how you get a level 5 in those work suitability traits in Power World. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.